Are you curious and maybe a little bit nosy about what sellers are making on different platforms and do you love peeking behind the curtain at income reports? I do too, and that's why I opened my books to show you exactly what I'm making as I start along my Amazon KDP journey. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel on Rebecca Bolin Strategy, where I talk about all things strategically relating to building online businesses. In this video, I am updating you with August 2023 results as a seller publishing low content books on Amazon. And you'll see that in my 10th month publishing, so under a year, I am seeing some great traction and excitement and really seeing that no, it's not too late to become an Amazon seller. The market is not that saturated if you jump in and find the perfect niche. So if you're excited to see how I do and potentially follow along, make sure you hit subscribe and then check out the rest of the video where you'll see some tips, tricks, and some exciting news. Okay, so as I said, I am going to show you the August income report. And I'm going to pull this up. I am recording this right at the beginning of September. So in this video, I can go ahead and just pull up last month without having to customize the dates. And you'll see, oh, this is my top 10 books. If I show you all books, you'll see that I sold 103 books in the month of August. So I have been really excited to see that I am gaining month to month traction and you'll see that I am having multiple days of multiple units sold. And even on August 28th here, I sold eight units in one day, which I believe to date is my highest volume sales date in terms of units. So that's exciting to see and it's really fun to know that it's not necessarily an anomaly it's not like i had zero sales on all the days around it um, with no other spikes you can see that i did have a day of seven sales a couple days of six sales so i'm really feeling positive about this venture right now one great thing is i did not get shut down in the month of july or august which would probably make the first couple of months i didn't and I will say that my secret to that is just not venturing out into any other niches right now other than the one that I'm publishing in frequently where I have had hundreds, literally my hundreds of books have been published. I know what keywords I can and cannot use. And so I'm just not trying to dabble too much anywhere else um, so that I can stop messing with Amazon KDP support and termination, and instead see some growth and potential longevity instead. Now, if you're curious about what's selling, I'll scroll down and show you which of my books are selling and how many different books out of those hundreds are really making an impact on my income statement. First thing to note, if you watched my July video, you will have seen that I did publish a higher content book that I put on Kindle. And I did finally go ahead and put it up for print version as well, uh, maybe a week later. But you'll notice that I do not have any additional sales on Kindle once the book went for $2.99 instead of absolutely free. So that's a little unfortunate. Uh, there probably is a lot more marketing that has to go in on the back end for that book. But if you're curious about whether it's worth it to generate a book like that, that might be something you want to take into consideration. In the month of August, I saw no sales either via Kindle for just $2.99 or in print, and I think it's maybe closer to $12 or $13. So what did sell in the month of August is 10 copies of the highest volume book. And yes, that was actually the same bestseller in the month of July. So that seems like it is doing really well. But scrolling down, you'll see I have a handful of books that sold six, five, and even four copies each. And I don't believe any of these are crossovers from July. Maybe one or two of them are, but certainly not in the same order. So that was pretty fun to see. Um, 
And I did sell a few books that had not sold at all before. So like this one with three copies, I have had up since November. It was one of the very first books I created. It was a simple log book. And it has been up probably nine or maybe the whole 10 months of my selling. And it sold the first one and then continued to sell two more. So that does tell us that, of course, when a book sells, Amazon gives it a little more credential and props it up just a little bit. So even though I did not have reviews on it yet, it did probably show it to a few more customers and therefore convert it into a couple extra sales. But you can see, again, that I have 16 pages of sales. So I do have a high variety of books that are making sales throughout the month of August. But by page three, you'll see that we only get about halfway down in terms of books. So that means that pages four through 16 have absolutely no sales of books, which I think there's about 20 on a page, five, 10, 15, yep. So with 20 on a page, we're saying that over 200 of these books have not sold any copies at all. If we scroll back up and we look at the number of books I have published, it does say all 306 books. Every video I like to point out that that's what I have published to date. So that is today in early September. However, in August, I would say that I probably had a few less than that published, um, but I haven't published much more in September. So I probably did have close to maybe 280, or maybe I did make a push to hit the 300 mark by the end of the month. I honestly am not positive. But either way, you can see that really it comes down to about 50 of those books are selling. And even out of those 50, we're getting a whole handful of one unit at a time. If we compare my top sellers, Here's a bar chart showing that 51 of the books were my 10 top sellers, but across the top 10, there was a lot of variety. So again, it's not like only my book one and two are selling. I am getting a good variety, and so I am trying to take that and figure out what these books have in common that my others don't, so that I can really pinpoint my niche and put effort into creating more of what's selling. Now the fun part I always love is to see what we actually generated in terms of royalties in that month. Now this is a screen snapshot of what we're at in September, so don't peek, that'll be in next month's video. But we will look at last month, where we will see that last month in August, those sales converted to approximated royalties of $180.41. So again, incredibly exciting. We are seeing a well into the three figures month. And as a reminder, if you watched July or did not watch July's income report, I did hit my first three figure royalty month. But when I brought in the ad spend, we didn't quite meet the mark. We were in maybe $92 in actual net income. So this month, 180.41, first of all, is fantastic. It shows that I brought in even more money than the month before. But let's see what we did in terms of marketing in order to see whether that was ad spend or not when it comes down to it and we subtract out marketing spend did I really do well can we call this my first true three figure month let's pull up my July campaign and again I'm trying really small 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 low dollars low risk campaigns that I learned about from some other sellers so there is nothing fancy going on here I don't have any targeted demographics. I don't have anything other than throwing every book I have into what you may have heard of lottery ads. And if we see exactly how much I spent in the month of August, let's pull up. I only had this one campaign going in the month of August. And we'll see that in the it's called July campaign. But right here, we just pulled up the date range of August. I just never renamed it. So in my August campaign, we have a $30.68 total spend, which is higher than the prior month, 
but we did see how much more money was generated. So if we subtract my ad spend from that profit of 180 and change, we are pulling up a net profit in the month of August of $149.73. So that means I can celebrate because this was very clearly a three-figure passive income generator for me in the month of August, my first one. So that's definitely a big, big win. And again, I've only been publishing since November 2022. So this is under a year, which is so exciting and gives me hope about the continued venture, especially in spite of all of the hurdles that I've had early on in the process, which hopefully y'all have seen. And if not, go back and see some of my videos about account terminations it has been crazy. Now, again, ads are a whole other beast, but I am telling you that in terms of what I'm doing here, there is nothing, nothing, nothing fancy. So I highly recommend you look into lottery ads, and I am going to put together a video on this soon. I am by no means claiming myself an expert, and I will say that you need to account for what your profit margin is and what your cost is actually generating you. So in terms of the A cost, you need to make sure that this ratio is actually within your margins and is not costing you more to advertise books than you're actually making. And if you're looking at the sales figure of $99 and wondering what that is, if I made 180, what it's saying is that what I spent on this campaign in August of $30, that based on what they've shown to viewers and viewers have actually clicked and whether or not they converted to sales, they are showing that out of the money that I paid to have my ads shown, almost $100 of that was returned in sales. So AKA it worked and the buyer purchased it. But this sales number is how much they paid for the book themselves. So the gross revenue that Amazon received. So if I had a $10 book, then it converted to a $10 sale. But remember that that $10 is not what my royalties are. My royalties on my books are closer to about $2. So there is some math to look into and you don't wanna go too crazy with ads. But for me, looking at the whole picture overall, I know that I still profited from the month and even with this $30 advertising spend. So for me, that's a big win and it's worth continuing to learn and explore on. And that is all I wanted to show you for today because I wanna get into creating some other videos for you about how to's and some guides. I know a lot of you are curious about actual tangible steps to creating these books. And I have certainly learned a lot by trial and error, and I'm excited to show them to you. So if you have any comments or questions about specifics that you want to see first, go ahead and drop them in the comments right below this video, because I am happy to do them in whatever order is helping you the best or whoever's watching these videos out there. If you have a request, I would love to help you and work with you or work along your timeline, because I know that I don't have anybody in my life who knows what the heck Amazon KDP publishing is, so hopefully I can be that for some of you. If you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe so that you do see my next upcoming videos and follow along on this journey because I am so excited to see November right around the corner. How is this gonna look in my first year of publishing on Amazon KDP? If you have a KDP platform, let me know. I'd love to support you and check out your books as well. So until next time, bye.